Hi guys, very, very sunny afternoon. I'm sitting in front of the window and it's like very bright. I guess it's a good thing, right? Is it, is it super, I never can get it right. What time of the day supposed to be the best life for filming the video and sitting in front of the window? Because for me, it's either too bright or it's, um, like crazy shadows so if you know let me know please okay so today i'm gonna compare two bags honestly i thought i already made that video apparently i did not uh there are two louis vuitton totes this one right here on the go and this one one and only <laughs> Louis Vuitton never full GM size. So I since they are size wise pretty similar bags, almost. Um, believe me, uh, I um, usually carry the same uh, items in both bags, and um, both bags equally fit similar amount of stuff and it's a lot so i'm not gonna even uh show you what fits because everything fits everything you want fits so um what i'm gonna talk today about if you're considering buying a tote and you are in between which one to buy that's probably this video is for you because i'm gonna talk about uh similarities and differences between those two bags okay so first let's talk about similarities as you can tell they're pretty similar size they are both gm size this is on the go gm and this is louis vuitton never full gm this is biggest sizes of these bags. Again, not everybody likes GMs. I prefer GM. Smaller bags don't look proportionate on me. Again, I'm 5'8", and I always tend to buy uh, the biggest size of the bag. So let me show both bags on me first so you can get an idea how they look. Okay, so this is on the go. This is how it looks on me. This is reverse size. These handles can be hidden and then you can carry it either on the crook of your arm or just hang out. So basically, it's very versatile this way. Okay, and now number four. I assume you could carry it handheld on the crook of your arm. It's only one set of handles, but it will work both ways on the shoulder, actually three ways, on the shoulder, on the crook of your arm and handheld. Okay, pretty much when it comes to similarities, this is it. Again, both totes both fit similar amount of items and both are in um, similar colorways color combinations this is reverse but uh in terms of colors they're similar as you can tell my never is customized i added my initials and the black and white stripe now let's talk about differences 
main and major difference of these two bags it's of course price point i'm looking on my ipad right now so because with prices going up constantly uh i want to be exact with the pricing so never full in gm size currently on the website is one thousand five hundred eighty dollars but it's not customized uh it's gonna be about 300 more if you will ask for a customized bag because apparently unlike i said before it's not like they take bag from the stock and just paint over the stripes and initials it's not the case apparently they make bag for you so basically canvas gets colored first and then bag is made for you so of course uh it's gonna bring the price up and as i remember if i remember correctly it was about 300 dollar more okay another difference oh wait a minute okay so this one was 100 580 dollars plus tax and on the go gm is currently 2690 dollars plus tax okay yeah it's very big difference in price point so that should be probably first uh thing to look at it depends how much money you can or want to spend on such a tote another difference this bag newer versions because i had uh a number full GM in uh, Damier Ben, which I sold. Yes, I did sell it. Uh, it was, uh, I think it was made before 2014 and it did not have this pouch, which this bag has. It comes with this pouch, which is, I don't know where the strap is, somewhere probably on some other pouch or bag, but it has a strap, but you have a strap and it attaches, you can attach to your bag, to this D-ring, which I find it a little bit inconvenient when this pouch is attached to the bag. It kind of gets on the way all the time. That strap, so I don't use it this way. And I use this pouch like here multiple different ways this was also customized when you customize the bag they automatically customize the pouch third major difference is the structure this is this bag is very structured so if you put it it's it's gonna stay put it's not gonna like slouch or uh fall over that's why I like this bag for traveling um, because it's more convenient when you have bag structure and nothing falls over um, all over the place. So canvas is more sturdier and um, so bag is kind of more robust. I should say more structured versus never full by the way let me take out something out of here this um insert some organ insert i had there that's why it looked a little bit more structured than it is so if i take it out look what happens so the bag is very slouchy it's like basically big hole except this little um pocket zipped pocket right here so it would be very very slouchy again unless you buy some orga organizer by the way this red some orga organizer is from my debier iban uh gm never full which i as i said i sold because that bag had the red interior but now i'm using this here i don't mind 
So when you put organizer, it kind of gets a little bit more structured and organized. Another difference, this bag, you can make it smaller by pulling this strings tight. And that becomes much smaller. I'm gonna show you on, on me in this version. I rarely wear it this way. I don't know why, because usually when I need this bag, I need to put a lot of stuff in it. And that's why I reach for it. I do live in suburbs and I do have two uh, kids. So this bag is very convenient for me because I can just throw everything in there and carry it around and use it as a shopper, like a real shopper since now um, a lot of stores don't give you shopping bags. So it's very, very good bag for suburban mom, not only suburban mom. Um, people call it basic. Maybe, I don't care. Maybe it's basic for a reason because a lot of people like it and it's very convenient bag. On the contrary, this bag is more fashion for, by the way, another difference is obviously you can see this is monogram reversed and giant monogram reversed and this is a, a regular monogram. So this bag is more fashion forward. It's, you wouldn't call it basic. It's heavier, much heavier. They both are empty right now. This is without organizer. Obviously, because it's structured, this bag is heavier. So I don't know about stuffing it to the brim and running around now. If I run around here, I would reach for it. If I just want to be a little bit fashion forward and still put quite a lot, but maybe not as much as here, I would wear this. And also I would wear this bag for travel a lot. Both bags, by the way, close. They have pretty similar closure. Let me show you. So you just literally, the same here. And both bags pre pretty much inside have similar just one zip pocket. And this one also has one zip, zip pocket, but on top of zip, this zip, zipped pocket, there are two little pockets right here, maybe for a phone. So I know a lot of people buy organizers for this too. And surprisingly, organizer, for never full kind of seems seems to fit not perfectly to this bag so it will little buckle it a little bit but for example if you don't want to buy another organizer you can perfectly fit this in this bag but it's gonna add weight to it so i usually don't use organizer for this one because it's structured enough that's when i go crazy with my gazillion slgs every single slg fits here mm, even uh, my uh, niece bb fits it's bigger size and it does fit here easily it will take up almost half of the bag but imagine you're traveling, you have all your essential cosmetics essentials you need here. I have organized it here too. So, and it's very nicely and neatly 
fits in your bag and you can achieve uh, you can access everything even without taking it out so for example if i would travel right what i would do i would pack here a lot of my cosmetic essential i would pack put in this bag things i don't want to put in um luggage because i don't want because i want to carry them with me some valuable stuff maybe small valuable bags i throw shawl or something here not to get cold i put on an airplane i put um passports wallet what bottle of water magazine and that's how i would travel because for traveling you don't need more than that right it's okay. not like you walking around the airport a lot to be afraid of carrying heavy bag because it can get heavy and you always can put it on uh, it fits perfectly on your rolling luggage you put those handles over the handle of the luggage and it fits and sits perfectly what else i wanted to tell you about these bags Again, I heard um, from a lot of people who are on a shorter, smaller size that GMs don't work for them. But I think it's also not only, I think it's preference of this style you wanna achieve. I like oversized bag style. Um, I like to look like a bag lady, you know, the giant bag. Uh, you carry around and you have everything there so i don't mind uh but i know like it's not gonna look uh good on everybody of course so you decide for yourself to summarize today's video if you are choosing between if you can afford both get both because even though they are kind of similar they are different and you will find to wear them for different occasions. Mm, and again, to summarize, more affordable price, bigger price point, much lighter, much heavier. This one comes with pochette. This doesn't. Slouchy structured basic i would say what's another word for basic popular but this is popular too i don't know i for lack of words it is basic bag because a lot of people have it and it's very a lot of people love it it's very convenient and um this is not so basic more fashion forward so if you wanna be comfortable if to if to be fashion forward it's not for you or you don't care about it you just for comfort for practicality you just want nice quality bag and you love louis vuitton then get this if you want to be more fashion forward if you don't mind carry around heavy bag because it will get heavy very fast then and another thing if you can afford it then get this bag i if if you are on a search for your first louis vuitton bag definitely not this probably this what do you think about these bags um if you have them, are you happy with them um, or not? And let me know if you agree with me on these bags. And this is it for now. So comment away down below. If you're not subscribed yet and you like this kind of videos, consider subscribing. Uh, my channel might be for you. If you are uh, my loyal subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, 
dislike it and uh don't forget to press that bell button in this case you will get notified every time i post a new video consider uh, following me on uh, instagram and the same name love me some lux and instagram um button is on the header of my channel and i guess this is it for today and i will see you soon